Okay, here we have version 2 of the split flap clock circuit. The clock is still the same, except most of the internals have changed. So, we're using still the Arduino Decimilia board to run the clock. Um, not much has changed there, except most of this hardware is now different. Let's take a closer look. First, we're using a DS1307 real-time clock chip from, uh, I think it's Maxim, or no, it's Dallas Semiconductor. Anyway, this chip basically handles the clock. After much testing, I discovered that the Arduino here doesn't keep time properly by itself. Uh, over the course of an hour, it loses about five seconds, which means that after a day, the clock is running two minutes or three minutes slow. So the Dallas real-time clock chip here, and you can see the little oscillator, that peg sticking up below it, uh, keeps time a whole lot better. This lithium battery also means that the time keeps when the clock is uh, unplugged. These are the voltage regulators um, and so on, transistors that operate the uh, circuit or sorry, that operate the split flap clock and yeah, the voltage regulators provide voltage to the Arduino board. It's uh, not a very exciting looking circuit, but it does do its job. So now I wanted to demonstrate why I went with a real-time clock chip instead of, you know, just deriving the display by simply pulsing it once a minute. Uh, the clock shows 10.30, but if you look at the clock on my wall, it's actually 10.35. The reason is because I've had it unplugged for the last five minutes. So what's going to happen is, because the real-time clock ship here knows what time it is still, thanks to this battery, it's going to be able to adjust. So I'm going to hit the power switch now. And is that the correct time? Yes, it is.